Hi everyone! Uh, welcome to another five minute game. I got paired way down. I'm on a sick winning streak and they're pairing me with a 1900. I see. I feel like that happens a lot when I go on like sick winning streaks. That somehow after winning ten games in a row, they feel it's an appropriate time to give me somebody much much lower rated than I am. It's kind of strange how that works. Um, anyway, I feel pretty comfortable in this opening. I have always liked the system for white. What is the move here? Bishop? Wait. <sighs> Something weird. Don't they usually go b4? I think I'm supposed to take on... What if I take on... What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. He wants to go queen a5 check, right? All right, I'm gonna take it. I'm a little scared. What it? I'm just a little scared. I always get. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If I go bishop e2, he goes queen a5. I have to play f aggressively. I guess I, I don't think I have a choice. I just have to play this move. And I have to play this move. I couldn't find another move. Um, what does he do here? Knight d4. I don't like this because he's he's pushing me around. You know, I don't like I don't like having to deal with aggressive play from lower rated players. But what are you gonna do? I don't really have a choice. But you know what? Now I've castled, so I feel okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get castled, and now we can try to outplay this guy. Maybe knight c4 was a good loop. Well, probably not. The key is to castle, man. You just get your king safe, and then and then go about your business, you know? As long as your king's in the middle, it's very hard to do anything. Although, knight c4 might have been a good move, honestly. Might have been okay. Uh, let's take with this guy. As far as I can tell, I have an extra pawn. I don't quite see where his compensation lies. Now, I can take on d6. He can take on b2. There's the sirens as always. I know you guys love them. Uh, knight d6, rook b2, knight c4, queen c3. That's good for him. So let's take a look here. If knight d4, I mean, probably I'm going to go a4, but I'm just checking. Let's just, let's just go a4. But like bishop a6 or bishop d7 or something. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know, man. What about b4 next move? Like, bishop a6, b4. Queen takes knight d5. Queen moves back. Oh. Alright. Uh, man, it's kind of like... But can I take and go knight b5? That's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I think he should have played something different, I guess. <laughs> well... You know, I would have I would have been able to do this anyway. So I mean, I, I think I'm doing fine here. That's like a nice little pesky move. Yeah, I'm doing fine, but I think he is too. I think he has legit compensation for for the pawn here. But I guess queen e2. Let's just just hold on. Uh, this this bishop on well, why don't I, I gotta go f4 sometime soon? Maybe just f4 and then like rook c1 or f4 and f5 maybe I don't know. F, see the thing I worry about f4 because it opens the position and he has two bishops and my king could get a little weak and it just scares me a little bit. So what to do? What to do? E5 maybe. Well, sure. I want to open up my bishop on d3 is basically the idea. If he goes pawn takes, I think I'll go queen takes. Maybe seven is interesting. He moves the rook. Let's just take this. Now I do this, and I have idea of knight a7, knight c6. Oh, it doesn't work though. G6. Hmm. Um. Well, maybe queen f3, and then I do that idea. I don't know. Okay, so knight, let's check it out. Knight a7. Eh, oh, whatever. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's okay. 
I, I just worry like if I miss something here. My, my pieces feel very loose, which I don't love. And he has two bishops still, even if I win the exchange, which could be annoying, but probably it's good for me. Maybe, uh, this looks pretty good, I guess. Well, 97, right? He played, he put the rook on the, uh, he put the bishop in the wrong square. <laughs> put the bishop on the, uh, the rook on the square where it blocked, uh, his queen from defending the e7 square. So now I'm basically winning. Uh, my knight doesn't have so many great places to go, but I'm sure I'll find something. Well, actually, it's not so easy. Oh, wait, knight f4. It's good. For some reason, I couldn't find that move for, for a little bit. But now it should be pretty clean. I'm up a piece for basically nothing. So I'm going to win. I'm going to beat I'm gonna beat little girl here. Um, you know, I just pushed the pawn. Checked me. I mean, probably just a7, right? a6, bishop takes knight, a7. I'm making a queen. I'll just do that. Alright, what's he up to now? It's kind of annoying actually. Um but I think I think this is sufficient. It's not like he's checkmating me. Hmm. And next move rook h1, I suppose. Or, or f4. Stop rook g5 check, maybe. Rook h1 would have won too, of course. Ah, uh, oh, this looks pretty strong. And he resigns, and I get my one rating point. Yeah, I mean, this game was like, he, he had a real compensation for the pawn, like, it was kind of hard to untangle myself, but in the end, you know, he missed this knight a7 to c6 thing, and it's, it seemed to work out for me, and then he, he made it even worse by blundering a, a piece after that. So my winning streak continues. I have um, 11 and a half out of 12. The only draw, like I said, against you know, one of the best guys in the world, Mami Dav, 2670 Fide or something. So playing pretty good. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.